I think that is the key, key complicating factor, because I know you want to raise some challenges, but as I, as I have this privilege of working with people in Pakistan, I also know how clever, creative, and resilient they are. So challenges are always met with a number of opportunities that, that they create out of those challenges. And so one, one particular is how do you define what is going on in the country where the discourse or the narrative doesn't really lend itself to this conflict analysis. Uh, essentially, it's, it's very complicated to talk of extremism or moderating extremism or, God forbid, though, tossing those words like terrorism or terror. Um, you know, we just had this wonderful forum up at, at Harvard, and uh, there was a great conversation and discourse on that ancient topic, one terrorist is another person's freedom fighter, and where you sit defines those perceptions. And so engaging within the context of no official declaration of conflict and, and really perceiving the situation through more traditional law and order lens uh, really does narrow the space for the traditional U, uh, USIP type of interventions in terms of conflict analysis, conflict mediation, uh, post-conflict reconstruction, conflict training uh, that wonderful people like Nina Shigru and others from this institute do. So that space between conflict and how you define what's going on within the country and how you intervene is, is, is the, that challenge and complication.